even though, mind you, he was not loyal either. Crazy people. <laughs> crazy. So that's them without poison. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead to our next bar. Are you gonna create a short film? Yes, I'm gonna make a short movie for you guys. We have Instagram. Yeah. Yes, all you guys being the actor right now. I'm allergic for poison. <laughs> <laughs> well, then you can't drink. <laughs> Raise your hand if you'd like vodka. Out of the options, what are the options? What's the option? I'll go with the camera. I'm going to go with the camera. All right. The camera? So, <laughs> vodka <laughs> was... Can I pick? I want to pick the camera. Okay, so just one. Thank you for the camera. <laughs> <laughs> That's a Tequila. Okay. One. Two. Oh, I didn't Rum, tequila, vodka, rum for me. Oh, I haven't done rum, so you're huh, good. Okay, Who wants good. rum? Me. One, two, three. Rum right here. <laughs> Young, you didn't tell me what you wanted. Me? Are you focusing on me? I'm focusing on you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm too busy filming. I know. Do you want vodka, uh -huh. tequila, uh -huh. gin, or rum? Oh, uh, tequila. Tequila. Yeah. Oh, right. <laughs> tequila. Good choice. It's like, duh. You say that again. Good choice. Uh -huh. Good Six, choice. Seven, good eight. You get natural on camera. I'm a natural on camera. Yeah, keep you're the camera, really, Keep the camera rolling. Mean, you're really natural. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, you guys would like another drink, this drink is on Tipsy Tour. The next drink will be on you. Happy birthday to you. to the Basilica di Santa Croce, which is the Santa Croce Church, right here. This church is absolutely stunning, not only as the facade on the outside, but also on the inside. Um, inside this church, there are the tombs of a lot of very important people. Here we have the tombs of Machiavelli, Michelangelo, and Galileo Galilei. Aside from that, this church was also the home of what is now called Stendhal Syndrome. Stendhal syndrome, or otherwise known as Florence syndrome. So, Stendhal syndrome, Stendhal, he came here to Italy in 1817. He came to this specific church. He went inside this church as well. After leaving, he wrote about his experiences here, and he wrote about what he felt after seeing the great tombs of the great men who were buried in this church. He had a racing heart. Uh, he said he couldn't walk without the fear of falling. Basically, he experienced the symptoms of either passing out or almost having a heart attack. It wasn't then that this syndrome was actually named Stendhal syndrome. It wasn't until in the 1900s there was an Italian psychiatrist who saw a lot of tourists that came to him and they experienced kind of the same symptoms that Stendhal wrote about after seeing the great pieces of art and the great sculptures and the great architects here. He then later named it Stendhal syndrome was actually in the Uffizi Gallery in 2018. 
A man stood in front of Bonocelli's Birth of Venus. You guys know the Birth of Venus, uh, yes. very famous painting. Of course. So totally. it, <laughs> he stood in front of it and he actually had a heart attack. And it was determined that he didn't really, he had no physical symptoms of having a heart attack or having, you know, the symptoms before to have a heart attack that it was named possibly Stendhal syndrome. That happens when <laughs> So be careful seeing these beautiful pieces of artworks here in Florence. Yeah.